Hi all, it is Nico Alef again and in this video we will do the reverse process not exporting from QGIS to AutoCAD but uh, doing uh, transferring zones and uh, line objects from AutoCAD to QGIS Now the existing file as you can see contains many layers we leave only the layers that we are gonna export later by defining our uh, new layer state you can go and close layers one by one but if you have done that already you will go to your layer states and uh, click on restore this will leave only the zones now create a new file metric if you are in Europe of course and uh, return to your zones file and uh, leave each zone one by one now let's leave the these zones and select all or to be sure wider rectangle copy go to your newly created drawing and click paste to original coordinates and now because our hatches which will be in QGIS our Polygon objects are associative, that means that they um, are connected to the boundary and uh, in this case the polyline that uh, uh, is their boundary, we need to make them not associative. Go to the properties of all hatch elements and click associative, no. Then select all polylines that are their boundaries and uh, then simply move them to another layer in this case 0 is only the only other layer leave that layer and delete them ok that's it turn on the layer of the zones and now we will save it <coughs> as uh, DXF file in the zones folder let's call it the uh, animal farms zones or not zones animal farms is enough okay delete that and go again to your main folder and let's click on another zone this is our park outside uh, any villages or towns select only the objects that are in the drawing map go to your other file let's check if there are any zones left and by clicking ctrl plus a and delete <laughs> there are none, I deleted them and uh, now paste the original coordinates in your layer that's it and the same procedure select all hatches make sure they are no, not associated now select all polylines and to, uh, transfer them to a layer that is not from the zone leave that layer and delete all polylines and now you can save the file to the name of the zone that's it and you will proceed doing that for all the zones and for zones that contain uh, not only po uh, polar lines but uh, also um, hatches and we need to keep both we have several ways to do that first uh, we can delete uh, the boundary only and keep the element which uh, we will later use in our project again uh, the same procedure go to your properties panel click on the hatch make it not associative and select all polylines lines and transfer them to another layer and the line we can uh, convert it to 
a line element in uh, QGIS. A better way to do it, I will undo that. A better way to do it is to define your own hedge that is uh, in the zone which contains the lines. Let's go to hedge, by typing cage, inherit properties to place the same hedge and hedge the object here. Now we can safely delete this line and in QGIS on this po uh, polygon object which will be in the same layer we will uh, adjust the symbology uh, because the difference is that if you have both lines and, and uh, polygons in QGIS you need to define it another layer and it will be somehow inconvenient to create more layers. After I've done uh, some uh, zones already, at least six, we need to make sure that we don't include uh, the same zones again. So I will freeze the zones that I've already done, I remember the names, that and uh, check the names. Or even you can sort them by f a frozen and check which ones you have done. Disable all the height and then you can check. This one, yes, yes. This is done, this is done too. Yes, I haven't done this one. And instead, I've already transformed and don't forget to define new layer state and that's ok if you want to see all zones you simply need to go to your other layer state and in this layer state the zones that are already done are disabled and now we will load the already converted uh, DXF files. Go to add vector layer and uh, find your your newly created files. You can load it, load them all by at once. And I created two lines layers. We will now save them by going to each of its names and renaming them. Let's see. This is like that. We must uh, be sure that they are in the correct zone. I will close all layers and one by one you will see them appearing when you change the zone. Now the last part we must save them as uh, separate uh, shape pairs which we will later merge. Now let's uh, go to file, uh, right click on the layer name and save as. It's quite simple we've done that many times before and just uh, choose your folder. Uh, let's create a folder and save them each with their names. And it isn't necessary to add them actually. And now the last of the polygon layers. And now the line layers. Let's save them to another folder
now let's add all the layers by going to add ve vector layer and uh, setting them when wherever you save them I save them here and you just click on as we shape files then merge all, the, all them to a newly created file that's it and just to illustrate I will make some unnecessary legend by just by using random colors in this case I will use a color run but first we must delete any unnecessary columns that way and go to style categorized layer click on run classify I and that's the result simple stuff but uh, you can easily correct the symbology later thanks for watching uh, be sure to watch my next video in which I will demonstrate an easier and uh, quicker way but uh, more proficient one to do things